So today we are talking about color. As you can see, as a Sony user, I have my two favorite colors here. Ah, it's a joke, cause Sony. Really though, today we're talking color. So with the topic of color comes a lot of different considerations. The first one we're gonna think about is your camera. Now in your camera, you have something called white balance and that white balance is gonna affect the initial color of how everything looks. See right now, my white balance is zeroed out and that's normally how I like to shoot because I like everything to look kind of how it looks. And then if I need to retouch it, I can in post. But something you need to realize is your vision. When you go out and shoot, how do you picture these pictures looking? I said picture a lot. Now, a lot of different photographers use a lot of different tools to measure color balance, white balance, and see how to get the most accurate color. Personally, I've always been a big fan of do what you think looks good. So really the only thing that's left for you to do in the camera is to go to your white balance and check all the settings. Literally take it out during sunset, take it out during the normal hours of the day, and just see what colors you like. And as I've already referenced in other videos, look at your favorite artists and see what they do. Obviously different lighting situations are gonna affect your color and you can use different lights or just lighting during the day to get different results. But once you get into the computer, that's when the real fun can start. You have your image in your computer, you have properly lit it, you have properly edited the lighting because you wanna do that first and now it is time to color. And guess what, you look at your image and you think, ah, oh, this would look better black and white. Don't do it, don't do it. I do it, and yes, it's the easy way out. But, experiment. This is where we have fun. We try different things. First, color wheels. We are gonna mess with our color wheels. If you don't know what the color wheels are, go down to your color section in Lightroom and then you're gonna click on the different sections, okay? You'll have grading in there. That's what you're gonna select. And then you're gonna mess with your color wheels. You're gonna have your mid-tones, your shadows, and then your highlights. Now, all these color wheels are gonna mess with different aspects of the color in different areas of the light. It's pretty self-explanatory. It may be a little tricky at first to get used to, but mess around with them. That is how we get good. I am such a big believer in trying things out. Don't try to find the perfect setting right at first. Don't buy someone's presets. We're gonna talk about presets. You need to mess with these settings. Start out with what the most prominent setting is gonna be. If your image is really bright, most of your image is gonna have highlights. If your image is really dark, most of it's gonna have shadows. That is the color that's gonna be the most prominent. Then you can go all the way to the end and there should be a global wheel. That global wheel is gonna set a color for the whole image. You've messed with the color wheels and still, Justin, Jesus, I cannot find the color I want. And I say to you, you're right. You can't find it. So here's what you do. And I said this in another video. You are going to go to one of your favorite creators, whoever you're gonna try to emulate, whoever you think has the best edits, and you are going to snapshot one of their pictures, however you can, and bring it side by side in your computer, okay? And then you are gonna tweak the hell out of it until you find that setting. I swear to God, if you buy a preset, I am going to be so mad at you. Don't buy a preset. Pete McKinnon is so talented. Chris Howe is freaking amazing. 
Matty Hopoya is great, and he's such a nice guy. But you don't need to buy their presets, and God love them. They're excellent. They're so talented. And if you really want to buy it because you support them, do it. But if you can't afford a freaking preset, spend hours getting better. Now, I'm not going to try to tell you to hustle to get better, and you've got to spend endless nights doing this, but you kind of do. You kind of do. So take a picture, put it next to your picture, and edit until they look similar. That means, again, messing with your color wheels, messing with your tint, that green and purple slider, messing with your color temperature, that yellow and blue slider. These are all things that are gonna make your color a little more different, a little more interesting. And as you mess with those, I guarantee you put in the hours, you're gonna get it. Now, the last thing I wanna say is in talking about presets, once you start to get good enough, you can create your own preset. It's not even that crazy. All you do is go to the bottom of your page, bottom right hand corner. I know it's to the left for you guys, but bottom right hand corner, and then you're gonna see preset. Hit preset, and then you're gonna see three little dots because you haven't created a preset yet. You're gonna hit that dot, and it's gonna let you create a preset from the image that you have. And then you can just click that and edit all the time using that preset. It's amazing. And let's say you're editing a bunch of pictures, either from a family shoot or from a wedding. You can just go to the side, hit those three dots, and then you can create a preset within all those pictures just by simply copying and pasting that edit onto all your photos. It's great, it's amazing, it's easy, but you can do it. Oh. That light went out, it's fine. Mess with your color wheels, mess with your color temperature, mess with your hues. And here's why I can't tell you to do a specific thing. And here's why you pay for all these things. Because there is no formula. There is a formula for your style. And once you find your style, great. But you shouldn't buy the preset because really styles change all the time. Create your own, do your own thing. Find happiness in your style. That's it. That's all I got. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Peace.